Hey guys, welcome back to ADZ TV. Thank you for stopping by for another video. And in today's video, we are going to talk about FC Goa's performance. Basically, the downfall of FC Goa because for the first time uh, after quite a long, a team that is consistent in the top four is currently standing ninth in the table. Okay. And uh, today, uh, back with another podcast. And today, I have Anish with me, an FC Goa fan. So, Anish, welcome to the live uh, podcast. Uh, hi Arjun, thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys want to uh, be a part of our podcast team, which I have, do contact me on Twitter or Instagram. Links are in the description below. Now Anish, uh, very uh, difficult season for uh, FC Goa fan. First of all, you lost your coach, and now you are currently sitting ninth on the table. Uh, how does it feel? I mean, uh, we were always considered as one of the, you know, like the team which will. Automatically qualify for the top four, irrespective of the season. That was a uh, default for us. But uh, the season, I mean, as you said, the coach, that was a shock. Uh, but um, I mean, yeah, where the team is, it's a fault of both. I mean, the coach and the management. So there's a lot to uh, think and talk about. So uh, we'll start with. Uh, Few, the, the, we'll start with the first uh, four games for FC Goa itself, and we'll uh, talk about uh, you know h- how it has started because you all had a very successful Durand Cup, uh, you know, run. Uh, you all won the Durand Cup. Let us just speak about the Durand Cup. So, how did you feel after Goa winning the to- the tournament? I mean, uh, the Durand Cup was uh, it's of course a big trophy in Indian football, but uh, I mean one. Uh, like a good side about it, Durand Cup was that our players were kind of getting some game time in the off season, and um, so it, it was good to see the uh, likes of Ortiz and all play, which he has uh, transferred that form into the season as well. But uh, yeah, it is a big trophy, but I wasn't looking at it too much because the ISL is what matters the most at the end of the day. Yeah. So, uh, do you think the you know after winning the Duan Cup, of course, uh, it was uh, seen that FC Goa would be a good force, a top four team as usual this season. But uh, the in the first four games, uh, Goa lost three, and uh, they won only against East Bengal in a you know four three win. So, was the first uh, the starting the uh, you know of course you had a bad start for the season. But uh, when the results came, the first four matches, okay, what did you feel as a Goan fan? FC Goa fan. As a Goan fan, one thing was clear that uh, we missed Angulo a lot. If you look at our stats, uh, well, if you look at our stats and compare them to last season or uh, to any other team, for example, if you look at the first match against Mumbai, in Mumbai we had one shot on target the entire game, even though we had uh, about about sixty percent of the possession. But uh, so yeah, the last. Uh, Clinical factor at the end of the pitch in the final third was lacking in this at the start. Another thing I want to point out is um, the lack of signings, la- the lack of proper good foreign signings. I mean, yeah, we have what uh, we have a record of buying unknown players, players with relatively low publicity, but you can't uh, run with that all the time. Is what I think. Uh, of course, with uh, as you said, uh, you know the finishing. You missing Angulo is one thing. Do you think FC Goa also missing Ishan Pandita? I mean, of course, uh, his goals at the end of the game uh, are always important for us. But if you see the past couple of games, I think uh, Ayram has stepped up his game, and he's giving us that clinical edge in the final third, in the final uh, half an hour or the final twenty minutes of the game. But as an Indian player, yeah, we all felt Pandita should have got more chances under um, Fernando, and since he didn't, it was obviously you know, like for example, you see the situation of Ronnie Van der Beek at uh, Manchester United. Ishan Pandita was suffering from the same thing. So, as a fan, it was basically like it's yeah, he, he, like he's a good player. You should let him go. But I uh, rather would have let him go on loan rather than selling him off. Yes. Uh, but I think uh, the transfer fee was uh, 60 lakhs, which uh, you know uh, Jamshedpur paid, which out of which I think 30. Then you all played for Dylan Fox for his service. How is Dylan Fox been this season for you all? 
uh he's been in a, in and out of the team i mean uh, uh like we we used to play a back to a back four against uh, like with fernando in and now derek has shifted to a back three but still i think uh, he is finding it tough to get into the team because as a foreign uh, signing gonzales was always slotting in and with the signing of anwar ali i think uh, we have got a good strong partnership at the back with ivan also contributing a lot so dylan's uh, signing i think was just basically for the asian quota to be filled up i didn't see much logic behind it because we didn't need that kind of a player what we needed was an attacker to replace angulo um so yeah it was kind of disappointing and he and he has been a bit disappointing this season Although yeah, he has so chipped in with some goals. So now for uh, fans, for, for the general fans, okay, uh, of uh, who watch ISL, if you had to point out which is the weakest position in FC Goa at the moment in the formation, which is the weakest position, what would you say? The left flank, left side, the uh, field. I don't think uh, Xavier is up to it. I mean, he was good, but this season he has dropped off a lot. He doesn't. I mean, I mean, I like the player. I like what he's trying to do. I mean, at the end of the day, he's a Goa player, so I support him. But uh, you know, sometimes it's just not good enough. Whenever he has the ball, he feels very uncomfortable with the ball. He makes a lot of mistakes this season. He's uh, conceding possession a lot. So I think the left flank is the one to be looked after. So FC Goa have also been hit with injuries, especially uh, Brendan Fernandez is one of those main players who are out. So his injury has definitely have affected you all a lot. So what do you have to say to that? Exactly, Brendan being a very good player at, at the end of the day, his uh, injury record has been very bad. If you look at the last few seasons, he has been injured almost every season at the start. So that's what I was saying earlier. Like we needed. an attacking minded player instead of Dylan Fox to provide a bit of a flair maybe on the left because Brandon plays off the left and that's what we've been missing cuz Xavier although he's playing on the left wing back position right now he can't cope that up i think with Brandon in the team uh we produce more chances and he he's the he's, he's one of those guys who can carry the ball comfortably so he is a major miss Okay, that's uh, also true. Injuries do hit uh, bad for the uh, team. So uh, now, of course, uh, you all are not with your main coach. Okay, uh, but uh, as a what do you feel uh, Goa will finish? Okay, even though there's like Goa has about seven more matches left for the season, what position you feel that Goa may end up? I think uh, deep down, I want them to finish top four, but I don't think we're gonna get top four this season. seeing the competition i mean of course uh, the likes of kerala and mumbai will obviously go through the season but then seeing the improvement in teams like hyderabad uh, has really been i mean that i mean there is a chance we can make it there are seven matches to go but uh, if you personally ask me if i'm confident of winning all those seven matches in hand i'm not personally i'm not i wish i wish we do personally i wish we do but then the footballing brain inside me says no we have a lot of weaknesses a lot of uh, shortcomings in that team which uh, may lead us like you know we won't make it most probably yeah uh, so maybe i think about, yeah 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 continue yeah, i th- i think we'll finish sixth Okay. Yeah. So, uh, talking about uh, defensive records, uh, Goa has conceded uh, 22 goals this season. Okay. Uh, maybe in the, I think they are fourth or fifth in terms of goals conceded. Uh, what do you feel? Uh, is it that your the defense is bad or, uh, compared to other seasons, or is it that there is no goals to you know uh, win matches? I mean. Uh... <clears throat> you will be knowing FC Goa is always a team that can score more than the opponents. It was in Slovenia and all. Okay. So yeah, that the final goals uh, has affected us. As I said, Angulo, Pandita, all these players, even Boom when he was back then, and Koro. We've always been the team who scores more than the opponent rather than you know defend well. But I think the season over the past couple of games, I think our defense has been good. Our defense has been good, but. Uh, 
as, as i said we make mistakes in the final in the first third in the defensive half with the uh, conceding possession in you know stupid areas sometimes so i think that and the second thing is with um a proper holding midfield right with edwin glen both of them playing both are excellent players but uh sometimes sometimes both of them can wander at places especially glen and he concedes the possession and he can't get back uh to his actual um, marker so that has affected also dia's confidence has is i think dipped a bit is not the same goalkeeper as i saw him be you know in the uh, uh, asian champions. The, uh, asian champions yeah he's not he's not the same i mean he needs some more time to you know just fill in like like, like but but he's still young as for for a goalkeeper if you, if you just uh, compare uh, the rest of the league okay i think most of the goalkeepers are about 26 27 apart from nawaz and mumbai and dhiraj i think most of them are experienced goalkeepers because you need that concentration in that team so i think he'll get there but he needs uh, a bit more uh, you know game time especially especially in the off season yep uh, that's so nice i think with this uh, we shall end the podcast uh, thank you so much anish for joining the podcast thank you for having me once again thank yeah, you very much hope, yeah hope to see you in a uh, more podcast in the future thank you once again guys for watching this video do like share subscribe once again if you want to be a part of our podcast team do tell me uh, in the comments and uh, of course uh, contact me on twitter or instagram tell me your thoughts about fc goa's performance this season thank you once again for watching this video do like share subscribe see all the more videos coming soon in the near future goodbye take care and stay safe